In this video, I'll show you how to run C or C++ code in Visual Studio Code on Windows. So let's get started. In order for you to get started, you need to come to this website called code.visualstudio.com slash download. And from here, we will download and install the actual Visual Studio Code editor. So I'm on Windows, so we will click on this Windows button here and you can see the download will get started. So after uh, it finishes downloading, you can just click on it and start installing it. It's a fairly simple installation process. Just click the next, next, next until you are done. After you have done that step, what we have to do is we need to come to this page, Docs. And right here on the left side, you can see the C++ option. And then you will see this GCC on Windows option. Click there. And right here, this is the installation guide of setting up C++ with our Visual Studio code. So we need to follow all these steps. So let's get started. We'll start by installing the Minji W64 toolchain. And we can do that by first installing the MySys2. So let's just click on MySys2 here. And if I scroll down, you can see this download the installer. Just click there. And the installer will start downloading. Let's just wait. So it's downloaded. I'll click on it and install MySys2 on my computer. So let's click on next, 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 and it will get installed. After the install is finished, click on finish and you can see this is the interface that we will see. If you don't see this, just go to the search and search for msys and you should see this msys2. Click here and you have the same thing. So let's just close this one for now. Let's work with this one and let's go back to this tab and here we need to do the next step which is copy this command. So I'm just going to copy it and go back to my sys and just paste the command and hit enter so i'll press enter here you need to press you need to type in y and then press enter so this command will actually download the mingw on my windows and also install it and all the required packages that we need in order to run c so yeah let's just wait this might take a while based on your internet connection so now we are done <clears throat> the mysys has installed all the packages and everything that it needed to install so the next step is that we need to add this path to our env variables but i would suggest go to the search bar and search for msys and you'll see something like this msys2 msys and right click click on open file location and again right click and click on open file location and now you are inside the msys directory where you have installed the msys but here we now need to go to this uh, ucrt64 directory and then bin then you can just click on this bar right here and just right click and copy the path now close the file explorer and go back and search for environ and you will see something like this edit the system environment variables and in here click on environment variables click on path and click on new and just paste what you just copied so this is the path that we had copied so simply paste it click ok click ok click ok now let's go back to visual studio code and uh, <clears throat> here we need to do one last thing which is we need to install the c plus plus extension so i'll search for extension if you don't see this what you need to do is you need to go to this extensions tab and then search for c plus plus and you can see this one from the microsoft i'm going to install it after that i can simply go to my file and you can see we have this play button now and i can click on it and i get this error g plus plus is not recognized as an internal or external command to fix this error i can simply first close this visual studio code and again open it so as you can see the vs code has restarted and i have this file main.cpp which actually prints out subscribe to my channel so let's just run the file and see if it runs and immediately you can see this time i get these three options i'm going to choose the first one and you can see it's saying start building and we get the message subscribe to my channel let's change this message to like this video let's run it again and you can see the message change to like this video so yeah, this is it. This is how you run your uh, C++ code in Visual Studio Code. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.